Hi, welcome to day 11 of our 30 days Python series. Today we are going to learn how to handle exceptions in Python. Exceptions are types of error that happens during executions of a code in Python. So let's see how to identify different different types of exceptions and let's see how to handle this type of exceptions in Python. So let's begin. Now here I have added different different blocks using those we will try to handle exceptions. So the first one is called try block, then we have accept block, then we have else block and then we have finally block. So let's see what each of these blocks does. Now try blocks, using the try blocks we will try to track the error. If in case there is an error we will put the code in try blocks. And using accept block, we will try to identify the error and we will print the error message, whatever the error is. Okay. Then we have else block. So in the else block, we can put our code. So if there is a no error in the try block, else block is going to execute the code. Then we have finally block where you can put your code. So regardless of there is an error in the try block and accept block, it is going to run the code. So let's see all of this block and let's see how we can handle exceptions. Now here I have added some common types of error. So let's see. First one is called file not found. So let's say if the file name doesn't exist or the file path doesn't exist. So that we can handle using file not found. Then we have name error. So that means if the variable name is not defined, that's where we can use this name error. Then we have value error. Then we have zero division error. And then we have IO error. So IO error is going to basically give you error while opening or closing if you are doing some mistake. Okay, so let's see all of these different types of error and we will try to handle all of this error. Okay, so let's first start with try blocks. Okay, let's see. First of all, let's add a cell and let's start. I'm going to add a cell and I'm going to say that maybe 10 divided by 0. Okay, let's see what I get. I'm getting something called division error. Obviously, you cannot divide a number by 0, right? So let's re-modify it and let's say I'm going to say something like it called try. Okay, so in the try block, you can put your code, which is going to find the error, right? So our code, which is 10 divided by zero, it's giving error. So let's try to track it, right? So I can go ahead and say try, that means this code I want to execute, which is called 10 divided by zero. And I want to catch the error using accept block. So here I can say accept. And here you put the types of error that you are expecting that uh, this is going to give you, okay? So first of all, file not found, it's not the type of error that it's going to give it's going to give which is called zero division error right so you can print the error type here called zero division error if you want to see more details about zero division error so you can just type zero division error question mark and it's going to give you the information so you can see more about zero division error here which is called second argument to a divide or modules operations was zero so that means if there is a division that you do and second argument is zero so obviously you will be getting zero divisions error so let's go ahead and see that zero division error now you need to put this colon sign mandatory after this try as well after this accept as well so here you can print any message that you want to show right you can go ahead and say print and you can say you can say sorry you cannot divide a number by zero because it's you are trying to divide by zero right if you try to print it you see it is executing this you cannot divide a number by zero what if i give the right maybe something 10 divided by 5 okay now here you see nothing happens because it doesn't catch the error right because it doesn't throw in zero division error so what do you want that we want to print this result in the else block right so we can go ahead and say else and we can just go ahead and say that this outcome that we get we can print it here something like maybe we can store it in something called x and we can print it call print x right so you can see I'm getting the results because this doesn't throw an error. So I am displaying the results in this else block because else block let you execute a code if this try block doesn't throw an error. Okay, so that is fine. Now what else we can do? So let's say I'm again going to divide by zero. Let's see what happens. This time you see this else block doesn't execute because this throw an error. So automatically it's printing this, uh, you know, this error message. Okay, now you can have multiple except block. Let's say we have one more except block before this one. Let's see if that, that one works fine. Let's say I'm going to print this one, which is called finally, uh, which is called file not found because obviously it's not the file not found error. So let's give it something like this. We can go ahead and say that accept and file not found error, which is called file not found error. And here I would just print a message called print. Sorry, file doesn't exist file doesn't exist right so this should be only giving the error if in case the file doesn't exist but we're not doing anything with the file here right let's see what happens you see automatically it's getting this error because python already knows that this is throwing a zero division error so that's the reason this block of uh, you know print message is getting executed not this one 
even it is the first right coming first but when this will execute if you are trying to access a file so let's say we will try to access a file now okay now in the last video i have covered how to access a file using the open blocks so that is what we will do here so let's say i have a file which is called a test.txt okay so i'm going to try i will try to access this file using try block so i can go ahead and say that try let's say i'm trying to access this file something like this open and let's say the file called txt text and i'm going to say test dot txt right so a file exists by this name and uh, i want to open it in a read mode okay so i would just run it you see the file got open right you can see the file is open now because i do have this file name which is called test.txt in my directory okay in my day 11 folders where i have this jupyter notebook what if i try to access a file which doesn't exist here okay let's say i would first close this call close and let's say i have already closed it now i will try to access a file which doesn't exist here maybe something maybe from here maybe this one called uh, you know maybe this one called test.txt okay so that's not in this folder somewhere else so for that i would just execute this code which is called open instead of test it's going to be maybe test something like it so we do not have it in this directory something called day 11 and i would say test ttt.txt right so i am just opening i'm trying to open this file so basically i'm getting an error called no such file or directory exists by this name right so let's say we want to try to see the error that it is throwing so i would put this into the try block so try colon and then you put this uh, code that you're trying to execute and then you can just go ahead and say that you want something called accept block okay in accept block you say that you are giving an error called file not exist file not found okay i can print a message called print and you can say sorry file not found okay so let's see now if you see i'm getting sorry file not found why because if you see there is no file by this name right but if there is a file by this name i would see the file okay so let's say now i would try to access this file which is called maybe example.txt let's write something called hello from example file okay let's save some data into this file which i'm going to print it okay so let's say now i want to access a file which has some informations and also the file exists okay so for that i would just copy it and put it here this time i would say example dot txt like this file which already exists okay now i'm going to use with command so that it's going to take care of closing the file so i would just need to save it in a variable called file which i have covered yesterday video if you have not gone through please check so you learn how to handle different different types of files in python so i would just go ahead and say here is that i want to read the content so i would say content a variable inside the content i would just go ahead and say file dot read so i'm just trying to read the content okay now this is simply going to give me the content okay so this file does exist okay so let's run this query you see this time i'm not getting error because this file name is correct okay now still i don't see the output i can just write a print message or i can use else block to show the file okay so i can just go ahead and say else okay so so you would just go ahead and say else print just call contents hello from example file okay so that means here this error message is not showing because we entered the right file name what if i enter a file name called example one sorry with the file not not found okay now this is how you try to catch different different types of error we have seen how to handle zero division error which is where you're trying to divide a number by zero you get this zero divisions error now let's see something called name error okay so name error is basically going to give you let's say we want to see more about name error we can just run it it says that name not found globally so that means if there is a no name exists globally like the variable name you will be getting this name error okay so let's say we say that print something called a okay so you see a is not defined because we have not stored anything a in the a right so let's say i would just try to catch this using something called try except block so i would say try and in this block i would just put this a okay fine now i would say something call here is accept and let's try to print error so i would say zero divisions error obviously it's not going to give us a zero division error so i would just write a message call sorry you cannot divide zero cannot divide 
a by 0 obviously there is no 0 we're not trying to divide by 0 right so that's fine now we will go ahead and write one more except block you can write as many as except block and we would say that something called file not found okay obviously it's not file not found error so we can go ahead and say print something like sorry file a not found again this a is not a file that right? you don't open a file like this so i'm just showing you how you can add multiple exception block now we will add the right except except block that's going to be what is that name error okay so we would say name error okay so name error and inside it we will put that sorry name a not defined okay let's run it you see by default automatically it kind of print this one which is called sorry name a not defined because the error that it is throwing it is called name error because this name a is not found right now if i just add you know variable inside this a i add something called maybe 20 okay you see i am getting the 20 why because in this file i have this 20 right so now if i divide a divided by 20 i can just go ahead and say something called a divided by maybe 0 okay you see i am getting this one which is called zero divisions error because it's a 20 you cannot divide with zero right so you're getting this okay now what i wanted to show you is that else block so we can go ahead and uh, you know run a else block here called else so else is only going to execute if this try block if this try block doesn't throw an error okay here it's throwing error obviously else block is not going to execute so we can go ahead and say print what i want to print is that okay say still it's not uh you know printing still it is stuck in this zero divisions error okay so let's go ahead and kind of fix it using finally block okay so finally block is going to execute the code irrespective of all this except block all this error okay so finally and you can just write what you want to execute maybe this one okay let's go and let's print it okay so i'm still getting zero division error let's maybe write it something called y here okay also y here now we don't have y at the moment i will define the y okay so y means maybe five okay so you can see here what is happening you are first of all getting a zero divisions error because see here i'm trying to divide a by zero okay so i'm getting zero divisions error okay so it's not file found not found error not name error okay fine in else block i'm putting the same which is a divided by zero let's make it simple let's simplify it instead of saying a and maybe this i would just put it here I would just say 20 divided by 0 obviously this is going to throw and zero division error so we will be catching the error using this block obviously this two error is not going to work here because it's not related to not related name or not related to file not found okay in else block i am saying again maybe which is called 20 divided by 5 okay so usually this should get executed right but the problem is that as this try block is throwing error so this else block is not going to work here okay that's fine now if you see the finally block this finally block i would put the same thing here but the finally block is going to show me the result why because this except block gives error or not give error this all this irrespective of all this except block and all this try block even if this try block gives an error or it doesn't give error this finally block is always going to execute this code okay so let's see and you see i am getting this 4.0 based on this finally block because here it's throwing error right this thing this thing doesn't get executed this is throwing error this is getting printed and in the finally block i am getting this message if you want to write a message you can go ahead and say that maybe print hi this is else block okay so you can see this is not getting executed right otherwise i would have you know seen this right so if you see here i want to message call write a message call maybe this is finally finally block okay so this is finally block you see i'm getting sorry you cannot divide a number by zero because still i'm trying to divide 20 by zero and uh, obviously this, this zero divisions error is going to print and then here in the finally block i am putting this this two line and these two lines are getting executed if i just change it to maybe kind of two you see this get changed to 10 okay so this is how we have seen how to handle error different different types of error using try except block and uh, how you can add else block and how you can add finally block okay
Now we will see one more error which is called IO error that is more of dealing with while opening a file okay so that is this one which is called IO error it just raised when IO operations like opening file or closing file is giving error okay so let's see this one which is called IO error now we did write uh, one code which is for opening a file this one I'm going to reuse so let's say this one it says it's simply open a file called example1.txt so example.txt now if I just run it it's kind of print the message from this file which is called example.txt right what if I change this mode to something called X you see I am getting an error which is called example dot file I mean this file does exist but still I'm getting error because why because I have changed this mode to something else which is not defined right so we have read which is R we have W which is for write and we have A for append but this mode is not defined right now still we have this error exception block but still it's not printing because it's not file not found right we do have the file which is called example dot txt so the way we can catch this error using the another except block we can go ahead and say accept io error okay so that means the error is more of dealing with while opening the file okay so we would say this io error here i would say that print and we would say that file opening mode is not correct okay let's see this one and if i just print it you see it's saying file opening mode is not correct because here i have defined which is unknown right by python if i now change it to r it kind of print nice way okay but if i change this file name to something else this path to something else maybe something like this you see that is captured by which one which is called file not found because this file is doesn't exist this file doesn't exist here that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video till the end i would really request you to subscribe to my roof channel if you have liked this content and do share your thought in the comment box like the video have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye